Hello everyone and welcome back to Chateau Dreams, our family adventure here in the south of France. I don't know about you all, but here it's been rentrée this week, which is when all the kids go back to school. And it's been lovely to see them all going back in all their new kit usually um, going in. So I'm not sure if you've got any children going back, any grandchildren, any friends, kids or anything else. But I do hope that everybody's had a great first week back at school. I hope you enjoy the episode and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now. Episode 29. Darn peacocks, bless the little hearts. But thank goodness we had Sophie and Jean-Marc, our neighbour, to lend a hand. Um, but Sophie's going to come with me, and um, yeah, so see you soon. Why are you sitting on a on a towel in somebody else's garden? Well, well we've decided. First off, it, it's it's a rather nice garden, so <laughs> I'm okay to be here. Secondly, uh, we decided chasing the peacocks isn't going to work. They are too smart for us, and they're going to go straight into the maze. So instead, we're gonna we're gonna act nonchalant, and then they'll just come up. If they're interested. We'll just act like we're friends, and that's when. <laughs> you pull out the big guns you pull out the big guns I, I, I think we got this I think so too I mean we've only been here for 40 minutes it's so far not even that long not even we have a whole day ahead of us yeah exactly we, we should finished. have brought snacks I know we can ring for snacks if that's comfortable <laughs> stay for us <laughs> we're going to sit it out <laughs> well, we can eat their bait no we can yeah no we know we uh, maybe we should we should bring wine <laughs> we should have gotten some drinks and some snacks and just made a whole picnic yeah and then yeah but the lady knows that we're here to catch the peacocks. Maybe so she'll offer us some wine. Yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. Hey, we're so thirsty. No. Mind you, then we wouldn't be able to catch them. I don't know. By oh. the way, we're not advocating drinking. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're advocating a good time and some relaxation. Yes. Yes. It'll be good. So what Sophie and I are hoping for is Rainbow or Prism, because it's just the two boys that are out, to alight somewhere just like this, calmly. Uh, the idea is then, once they're calm, I can go and catch them and bring them home. Well, the honest answer is, with your bare hands, it can be interesting. So just to give you an idea, this is them with their summer, uh, not with their full length tails, but the males are between 70 to 98 inches in length. Ours are very big, so I'd say more 98 inches in length. And their tail train is nearly as long. So tail train, probably about six feet long. Their wingspan is 63 inches and they weigh about 13 pounds. So there we go. So let's see, I have tried it before and I will show show you that now um, they also have very very long claws and can be aggressive but as I say ours are complete sweethearts. So here I'm demonstrating the technique. First the stalk and plant technique pretending basically not to exist. The idea is to get the bird comfortable with you so he doesn't fly away. Back to the stalk again positioning. Hurrah! There we are. It's very important to grab both the bird's legs at the same time and support the tail and put him in a downward facing position. In this way the bird will quickly calm and relax and you just keep a gentle hold on the tail. There we go. No joy with catching and trapping so... Back home and they are just by the fence. So we have croissant. And we're going to try leaving it on our side just to see if that makes any difference at all. Let's see. Okay, where are they? There we go, look, see? It's like being on bird safari. Ooh, okay, right, we're going to sneak up to them, lay our peace offering of croissant on the floor, and hope they fly over. So these are the maize fields that they keep on running into. We really don't want to destroy the crops, and they're enormous. Okay, so they've disappeared again, but we're leaving offerings on the floor. You're leaving them on the floor, which is great. I think we have every hope. Come on, you guys. Let's see what it's happens. A real nightmare. So I'm just back, as I said, having had a shower. And I have sent a message to Jean-Marc, our behind neighbor, who is an expert in large birds. He keeps a lot of geese. To ask him maybe if we can go over in a day or so's time and try and trap them. I've also said to our neighbours, 
if they happen to go into their workshop, please, please, could they just shut them in? Because it's almost impossible to catch them otherwise. So, yeah, when I'm not there, typically they run into their conservatory, apparently, or go somewhere. But when I'm there, they just run away. So keep, let's keep our fingers crossed. There's been loads going on at the castle. You wouldn't believe it while we've been out. So um, including some death-defying feats. But anyway, there we are. I will sign off for now, you guys, and look forward to seeing you next time. And I will show you the next video of the renovations that have been going on while we've been out today and over the last few days. And while Soph and I have been out chasing peacocks in the heat, look at this lazy lot. And they've been watching all the renovations and death-defying feats that I'm going to show you in the next video. But aren't they so gorgeous? Have a great week, guys! Mm -hmm.